Welcome to the workbench. I'm Doug. Today I'd like to show you how to properly oil your needle bars and your hook on our multi-needle machines. First, you'll want to go to position your needle to the number one needle position. Then this is going to give you access to the left side of your needle bar frame. So if you pull your needle bar down, you'll see a foam pad here. And this is where you'd like to put a couple drops of oil that comes with your machine. Once you lubricate that pad, it'll be absorbed within it. So when you, with the pair of tweezers provided, slide that to the up position and that'll lubricate the lower half. And then when you release it, it will lubricate the other portion. So just continue to needle number nine, one drop, allow it to absorb. And then when you raise this up and down, it's, of course it's going to lubricate that bar. So push it all the way up and let it release. That way it kind of gets a double dose. Raise those felt pads. Go to needle number seven. Okay, and then the rest of these will be locked until we position it now to the other side. And then you'll just come through and locate your others. Your instruction book kind of shows you to put a dab on here, but if you just put a dab of oil on there, it's not going to go anywhere. So this is why we like to pull them down and then slide them up the shaft into the, the needle bar and then release. If you happen to notice any oil or anything that's dripping, you can just take a cloth and just kind of wipe right across the top. But those pads will absorb that oil and then have that whole lower section lubricated which will help out in between those yearly cleanings. And then to adjust the hook, we would go to our screen and select a little oiling button. And when we do, it's gonna rotate the hand wheel in the machine a little bit so that your hook is placed properly for that drop of oil. Okay, so with your oiling tube, just position this to the right side where you see that V-shape of the hook and give it one drop. Once you've placed the drop of oil, touch the OK button and it'll rotate the machine back to its original stopping position. This oiling process would also apply to some of your other baby lock models, such as your long arm quilting machines and your Jane, any full rotary hook system. On earlier models, we didn't have the luxury of this oil button. So you had to go back to the hand wheel and rotate the timing mark, which is always going to be at the top when it's stopped. And rotate it, if you're looking from the back of the machine, to the left side. If you're facing the front, it would be faced to the right. And that will give you the same oiling point as what you see on these models. So now that you know, get out and sew. <laughs> or embroider in this case. Thank you.